legislations for the welfare of children. In this module, you will learn about the various measures taken by the Government of India to ensure the welfare of the children of the nation. India is a welfare state committed to ensuring the well-being of all its citizens, especially children and women. Children are the future generation and pillars of our nation. Hence, much importance is given to their development in India. The Constitution of India has laid down principles to protect the rights of children against exploitation. Articles 39F and 45 of the Directive Principles of the Constitution direct the state to enact laws for the protection and development of children. Article 39F provides facilities for development of children in a healthy manner and adequate care for children and youth. Article 45 ensures that the state shall endeavor to provide free and compulsory education for all children until the completion of 14 years. In addition, it also states that no child below the age of 14 years shall be allowed to work in factories, mines or any such hazardous places of employment. Article 24 deals with the fundamental right against exploitation and prohibition of child labour. A hundred years ago, Gopala Krishna Gokhale a great leader of the freedom struggle of India, demanded the right to education for Indian children from the then Imperial Legislative Assembly. His dream realized when the Government of India introduced the Right to Education Act on April 1, 2010. The right to education is now a fundamental right for all children in the age group of 6 to 14 years. Thus, the Government of India has paved the way for building a strong, literate and empowered youth for the nation. The Government has passed several acts for the welfare of children. The Juvenile Injustice Act passed in 1986 tries to protect children deprived of adequate care and works for their reformation. The Infant Milk Substitute, Feeding Bottles and Infant Food Act passed in 1992 ensures that infant foods are regulated and used appropriately. The Commission for Protection of Child Rights Act passed in 2005 to protect the rights of the children in the country. Many schemes and programs have been implemented for the upliftment and benefit of children. Integrated Child Development Services or ICDS scheme was passed in 1975 with a number of objectives. The first objective is to improve the health of pregnant women, feeding mothers and children up to the age of 6 years. The second objective is to reduce the rate of mortality, malnutrition and school dropouts. The Rajiv Gandhi National Crash Scheme for the Children of Working Mothers, passed in 2006, provides service to children of working mothers up to the age of 6 years by opening crashes. Integrated Child Protection Scheme provides for institutional as well as non-institutional support for children. Schemes for Welfare of Working Children in Need of Care and Protection, passed in 2005, aims to provide non-formal education and vocational training to working children to enable them to complete their education. The government provides due recognition to children with exceptional abilities and outstanding achievements in various fields such as academics, arts, culture and sports. The National Child Award for Exceptional Achievements was instituted in 1996 to honour such children. Children between the age of 4 to 15 years are honoured with meritorious awards on Republic Day every year. In spite of all the legislations passed by the government, it is essential to create awareness amongst children about the dangers around them. Children should be educated to approach the concerned authorities or to the proper channels to report their problems and to get guidance and counselling. Parents, schools and the public at large should take moral responsibility to cooperate with the government and welfare agencies to protect children from abuses and exploitation. 
Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on legislations for the welfare of children.